All right, guys, thank you for joining. Uh, I have three roles for you today. I'm the guy in the blue gi. Uh, I'm a white belt in Amsterdam. I have roughly three months of experience and I'm fighting against uh, Arvid, who is another uh, white belt I like to train with. He's a good buddy of mine. So here he ties me up pretty well. Um, and then I try to get a 2 on one on the leg. Try to control the leg, try to step in for knee slide. Or to step around it. It doesn't really work. I try to escape and reset the position. Here again, he, his left foot is really pushing me away. I remember this being a real struggle. It was really hard for me to come closer because he was pushing away. He ties me up with a nice De La Hiva. I trap the left leg. I try to sit on it. That's what I've been thought to do uh, and to neutralize the position. But from here, I actually don't really know what to do. I think I should choose a side and try to collapse because I have his uh, right leg trapped between my legs and he hasn't doesn't have a Hiva hook in anymore on the left side. But uh, I tried to escape and reset. Uh, here's a nice pass which I attempt. Uh, it's been taught by a black belt called Rose. She showed me this. When someone is in seated guard, just <laughs> grab the leg and try to jump around it. Uh, and for some reason I seem to hit this a lot. Um, so you'll see me try and pull this uh, pass uh, quite often. Um, here I'm trying to push the left leg away with my uh, left arm um, but I'm having a hard time he's keeping my he's pushing away pretty well as well um, and I'm trying to keep the legs away switch my hips and end up in a side control position or in mount I reset the position because I thought the wall was too close and we might bump our heads uh, we reset I start in mount And we start from mount, um, start from a low mount. I go for cross collar. I try to get him to expose his arms. He exposes his arms. I try to put my weight on it so I can use my chest to keep his arm pinned. What I like to do from mount, may mainly because it's my only uh, move I have from mount, is to go for a gift wrap and then take the back. So here I think I can't. So I pinned the right arm as well. I could step over it for a mounted triangle, but at this point I didn't know that from uh, mount. So I this looks like an arm bar, but it's actually not. It's a uh, back take with a gift wrap. Um, I try to take the back here, I think. Um, yeah, so I lock the, I get my hooks in. I take the back, I close the rear naked choke, and then I, I get the tap, and we go again. We reset, and we go again. This time, I decide to play guard. Um, I really like close guard a lot, but I don't, I don't think I hit it here. I tried to make some grips. He walks around my guard pretty easily. I remember that I wanted to play half guard, uh, but it's so difficult to play half guard because you just get smashed all the time. Um, he nicely gets into my side control and uh, passes my guard really nicely. Uh, here I usually try to sneak my knee in, but for some reason I I don't. Uh, here I try and I'm going for an underhook escape here because I saw a video about it and I was like, hey, I can try that. So I reach for the underhook and boom, I try to escape. It doesn't really work. I get kind of out in this like weird triangle position, but he isn't able to close the triangle uh, and I manage to reset. Here I try to go for a pass immediately and here we end up in this weird scramble where I'm not really sure who's winning or who's on top. I am super off balanced, but he has like one leg in and like one leg out and <laughs> we're, just, we're just moving here. Um, and this looks like a weird bear bowl. I don't even know. But in the end, we reset the position and uh, we go again. Um, ah, and that's the first roll. That was a nice roll. For the second roll, uh, I think I fight against uh, fight against my buddy again. But there were some rest rounds in between, so it's not like we fought two times in a row. 
Here I attempt the same pass. I grab the right leg and I try to go o uh, try to go around it. I don't know the name of this pass, so if anyone knows, uh, let me know. He tries to push away. I try to go around it. A bit sloppy, but in the end, I think I managed to consolidate this position. Um, I try to block the hips, and I manage to lock a side control. Um, I go for the cross face, try to pressure with my shoulder a bit. So um, he's still not facing the camera. I try to move his arm up. As you can see with my left hand, I'm trying to walk his arm up to make space so I can go to a, to a mount position. And I think he traps my leg here, which is super nicely done. And I'm like, fuck, now I have to get rid of the leg. Uh, I try to push it away. And I think I managed to slip it out. At some point and I come into side control again. He, now he has his knee in though and I try to clear the knee. I go over with the arm, I don't know why. And I try to lock up a... Is it a Kimura? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I was doing here with the arm. I should have just... And there I get caught in this weird... Thing. So my, my head was up way too high. And I lose the position here, uh, I think. I should be able to escape this, seeing it from this angle now, but at that point it was, uh, he had a nice, uh, did a nice escape. We go again. A bit out of frame. Do I try the pass again? Probably. No, I, okay, I try to stack him. Doesn't work. He ties me up. Pretty well. Has a color on me. Uh, I try to... He has a nice Delihiva hook and tries to... He's really on the side, which is nice. I clear the left leg. But his, 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 his left leg is still in. And here I try to, I think, backstep? No. I sit on it and I collapse on the on the left... on, From my perspective, his left leg. So his, his actual right leg. I get into a side control position. And here I... Don't really see what I'm doing. Oh, I... He taps. Um, I'm not sure what I what I did there. I, I don't remember. We reset. We go again. I play guard. Um, set up guard. In my head, I'm moving much more. <laughs> like I'm barely moving at age, but in my head, I'm like I'm moving a lot for some reason. Okay, I get a probably try to go for a lasso here. No, I don't. I actually let him sit on top of me, which is not that smart, but he falls over, uh, and now I go for a knee slide-ish, but no, I, I just get out, I reset the position. Here, I, again, I grab, the, I, I grab his left leg, and I just pin it to the floor, and it, it works really well. You need really quick reaction time to be able to counter that pass. Um, I've hit it on, like, Blue belts, white belts, I hear he taps because of the uh, pressure, I think. Um, which is fine. If you feel uncomfortable, you should tap. Uh, respected tap always. All right, I grab his, he gives me a free. This is a funny exchange. Here I get the spider hook in. Uh, and then at some point he starts pressuring me with his knee. And I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here with the spider hook. Um, yeah, and I feel his weight on top of me, but at the same time, I'm pushing with this. No, okay, and the spider hook is gone. We fall over. I come up on top somewhat. Not really, because you see my right leg is trapped, so I still, I'm not really in a good position here. And there's the timer. That was a nice roll again. Now for the last roll, uh, I roll against this, uh, this blue belt. He's really good. He's like, I also rolled against him in Nogi once and he's such a good wrestler. Uh, I think he has a background in either rugby or wrestling. I sloppily try to pull guard and I honestly think he gives it to me. He lets me look it up. And I try the lumberjack sweep here, but he defends it by basically putting his weight on me and grabbing my lapel, which, I, which is a defense I didn't encounter before. Usually I actually get to sweep, uh, but he's really good with his weight. I try to omoplata here, I get up, he tries to roll over, I, I 
attempt to block it. And then I try to pressure side control. But you can see I'm not on my toes. I'm not tripoding. So a lot of my weight right now is being carried. Uh, here I try to go to Neon Belly or take his back. And here he's letting me work a bit. Uh, you'll see later in the... Here I try to consolidate the mount position. Back take. But he rolls over and... This is a... This is supposed to be a good position for me. I think I should have used my right leg to basically uh, go for the back here, like you would in uh, close guard, but we end up in my close guard again. Um, I should be breaking down his posture, but he's sitting up straight. I try to go for the hip bump sweep, but his base is too good. He tripods, I try to go for lumberjack sweep, but he holds my... Lapel again. I again go for the Omoplata, but this time he defends it and I cannot close my close guard anymore. And he manages to uh, enter my half guard. Um, as in the previous rolls, I was trying to play half guard, but I just get choked here. I think it's a guillotine or, yeah, see the tap there. Here we go again. He's uh, he does a nice takedown here. He pushes, 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 and then suddenly he pulls. Boom. Nice snappy. Steps around my leg. Controls my left leg. And here I just try to stay as close as possible. He switches to the other side. Uh, I try to get in some frames, but he traps my one leg, uh, one arm, and I'm like, shit. I try to get up. It doesn't work. I try to keep a frame in, but I'm overextending my arm a bit. He goes for the Kimura. Uh, yeah, he goes for the Kimura grip. And he manages to use his head to control my left arm. Ah, this was nice. Yeah, he goes for the mounted triangle. Uh, triangle from side control, I think. That was nice. That was nice. We go again. Um, I think he does a pretty nice takedown here as well. I don't recall anymore. Yeah, this guy, I try to pull guard, but he keeps his, no, he just throws my leg to the side. I try to get my leg in between, and I point to the guys uh, next to us. Um, he has control of my legs, and then I am in a survival position again, north-south, with my foot stuck in his gi. And he's, what I'm trying to do here is just to keep my frames between him, but it doesn't really work. And he's just slowly, slowly using his body to tire me out. Um, I'm trying to stay curled up into a ball. And he is progressing, but I'm still, and then he switches to the other side. And he's so good in that, like switching to the other side when I'm defending one side. He gets the gift wrap. I try to turtle, and I'm actually still turtling here, but he gets the back take. And I think he goes for the rear naked here. I think we fight a bit, and then he grabs one of my arms. Oh no, <laughs> I remember this. He's squeezing really hard right now on the body triangle. I was like almost tapping from the pressure of the body triangle. It was a real good squeeze. All right, I remember it now. Oh, we go again. This guy is so good. I am like absolutely crushed right now. This guy is a monster. All right. Uh, I missed what I, I'm trying to stay curled up, but and then he switches to the other side again, and that's the that's the roll. This guy was incredible to spar against. He. Taught me a really nice uh, takedown as well. Um, and yeah, here you can see me just regretting my choice of picking up Jiu-Jitsu. Being absolutely tired, but in a good way. Alright, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and see you next time.